Hello and welcome to South Regional TAFE. This is your induction for vocational education and training for secondary students. You may also hear the term VET DSS used to describe your training. Today we will be covering our expectations of you, your responsibilities and what facilities and services are on campus to help you get the most out of your training. Classroom and workshop inductions will be completed with your lecturer today who will also go through all of your course requirements specific to your course. All students receive a Microsoft Office 365 account which has OneDrive storage, email, Microsoft Word and Excel. If you forget your password, you can unlock your account yourself from the student portal on our South Regional TAFE website. Just click on Current Student on the home page, then Password Help and follow the instructions. Free wireless internet is available on all campuses for Android and iPhone, Mac and Windows devices. Information is available on the student portal. Have a read of the Wi-Fi connection user guide to help you set this up. If your phone or device runs out of battery during the day, there are charging ports available. Printers and copiers are located across the campus and your student ID card can be used as a secure printing or copy card. You will need to top it up with money to be able to use it and this can be done at the library. South Regional TAFE has a range of social media accounts to keep you updated with events and the latest news across the college. You can find the links to these on our website www.southregionaltafe.wa.edu.au Get familiar with the current student or student portal page which has a link to the student handbook and other important information if you're ever unsure of anything whilst you are training with us. Your TAFE lecturers are passionate about their industry and are experts in their field. TAFE studies a competency-based training, which is a little different to high school. Each course has skills and knowledge-based outcomes where you will demonstrate to your lecturer your learning to ultimately gain a nationally recognised qualification in your chosen career pathway. Your lecturers will speak to you further about your course requirements and assessments. South Regional TAFE is an adult learning environment and we are preparing you for the workforce. There are a range of ages and cultural backgrounds across our student body throughout the college. As an adult learning environment, you will have the support of your lecturer, but it's not the same relationship you have with your teachers. You will be responsible for asking any questions you may have about your course or assessment requirements. You will need to plan your time according to your course outline for each unit of study. You will need to hand in assessments on time and ask for an extension early. Studying at TAFE is about independent learning, joining in on group discussions, sharing opinions and respecting others' opinions. Use the computers and internet appropriately, as per the Student Network User Agreement. Apart from attending class, you will need to do study at home. We recommend at least two hours per week for the Certificate 2 level and five hours per week for Certificate 3 level. You may also be required to do some work placement hours in order to complete your qualification and this will be on top of your study time. Work placement should be treated like a paid permanent job. You need to be prepared with the correct personal protective equipment. Keep your logbook up to date and signed off by your supervisor as a record of your attendance. If you are ill and cannot attend, call your supervisor prior to your shift to let them know. Also email your lecturer so they are aware. As you are under 18, the college has a duty of care for you, which is a blend of encouraging your independence but also preventing unreasonable risk of harm. At break times, we do not provide supervision of students outside of classrooms and workshops. If you experience any harassment or bullying or see anything unsafe, please alert your lecturer. The college will contact your parent or guardian and school if you are absent, if you are suddenly unwell or to discuss your course progress. Recording attendance is mandatory, just like school. If you're going to be absent from your TAFE course, email or call your lecturer. If you are likely to be absent due to illness for two days or more, see a doctor for a medical certificate. If you miss a required assessment due to absence or illness and you need to reschedule, a medical certificate will be required. This is also a good habit to get into for when you are working. Students cannot leave class to be a model for any beauty, 
hairdressing, fitness and massage treatments run on campus. If you are feeling unwell or are showing signs of cold and flu-like symptoms, please do not attend class. Call or email your lecturer that you will be absent and do not forget a medical certificate if you will be absent for more than two days. If you are on campus and suddenly become unwell, advise your lecturer. TAFE will arrange for your parent or guardian to be contacted to collect you. We will also advise your school. Personal hygiene is important for both health and social reasons, plus it helps to stop the spread of germs and illness. Showers are available on campus in toilet blocks, which can be used by all staff and students. Staff cannot administer any medication. If you take any medication which may affect you in the classroom or workshop or workplace, please let TAFE know. This will be recorded on a health support plan so TAFE knows what to do in an emergency for your individual needs. Clothing and footwear should be appropriate for your chosen industry and workplace. Your lecturer will explain what you need to wear for your specific course and in the workplace. Some examples of personal protective equipment are safety boots or safety glasses, tied back hair or wearing long sleeve and pants. Not following this rule is a breach of the student code of conduct. You will be asked to leave the classroom or workshop and will not be able to complete activities or assessments. If this is ongoing, TAFE will notify your school and you may be removed from your course. Mobile phones. Every course is different, but in some classrooms and workshops, mobile phones are strictly not allowed. If you are expecting an urgent call, please tell your lecturer at the beginning of the class. If you are allowed your mobile phone in class, this is not the time to be updating your status on social media. This is a breach of the Student Code of Conduct and TAFE will notify your school. We expect that you are committed to your learning. If you are struggling to commit because this course is not what you expected or just not the right fit for you, please talk to your high school about the possibility of changing courses. They will contact TAFE for you and explore other options. TAFE has a Student Code of Conduct which outlines the behaviours we expect from all students. It also outlines your rights as a student, what you can expect from TAFE to support you in your training. We will talk about each of these in more detail on how you may breach the Student Code of Conduct. This will help you to understand your rights and obligations as a student at TAFE. South Regional TAFE has zero tolerance towards alcohol and drugs. If you are under the influence, or suspected to be under the influence, you will be removed immediately and the school will be contacted. South Regional TAFE has zero tolerance towards bullying. If you witness or experience any bullying or harassment, please report it to any staff member immediately. Like in school, when you are referencing articles or authors in assessments, be sure you do so correctly and do not use material that is not yours. That could be seen as cheating, plagiarism or breaking copyright. This is your responsibility. Please speak to your lecturer about referencing or check out the library for different resources that are available to help you with this. If you breach the Student Code of Conduct, you will receive a warning to improve your behaviour. If your behaviour continues, you will be excluded from your class or workshop activities and a letter of concern is sent to the school and your parent or guardian notified. If you continue to breach the Student Code of Conduct, you will be removed from your course. Please report any accidents or incidents on campus to your lecturer or any staff member immediately. If you or someone else requires first aid, TAFE will arrange for this and contact your parent or guardian or emergency contacts on your student profile. If required, the accident or incident may be investigated to make sure it does not happen again. While you are on work placement or an excursion arranged by TAFE, you are covered by personal accident insurance. You are not covered for personal accident while on campus. In the next few slides, we will describe all the features of the Bunbury campus, such as the specific location of emergency muster points, our cafe, the student common area, the library, security, buses and bike storage racks. Parking permits are required for all students and staff. You are only able to park on the campus on the days you attend for your course. Your parking permit is valid for a six month period, so remember to apply for one each semester or you will risk receiving a fine. A link to the online application form was included in your enrolment confirmation email. Bus services are available. For timetables and route options, visit Trans Regional Public Transport Authority website for more information. This link is also available from the Bunbury campus page on our TAFE website. Secure bike racks are located near the gym. See the TAFE library staff for a swipe card to gain access. 
Connect to BikeLink to protect your bike. This is free to join and it connects you to your bike if it's lost or stolen. It helps the police and the cycling community around you to help locate it quickly. Each year the TAFE has emergency and evacuation drills for the whole college which sometimes occur spontaneously. It is important to try to remain calm and follow directions from your lecturer and wardens listening to all announcements and the different types of sirens and alarms you will hear. If you are out of class at the time of an emergency, follow the directions of a staff member in that building. They will record your name and your lecturer will be informed. Evacuation maps are situated in every building showing the best direction to exit. There are muster points at the north and south of the college. Always follow the directions of staff who will guide you. Please visit the friendly library staff for help with borrowing resources, online resources, purchasing textbooks and stationery supplies and student ID cards. There are also charging ports available for your devices. For more information, go to the current students page on the South Regional TAFE website. Dexter's Cafe does not have an ATM facility. Payment can be made by cash or FPOS. It is open from 7.30 in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon, Monday to Friday during semester. They have a range of options including keto, vegan and gluten free. They have a large range of soft drinks, energy drinks, tea and coffee. Pre-order your lunch in the morning to avoid the queues. The student common area is located next to Dexter's Cafe. This is your area to have lunch, study and charge your phone. It has a small kitchen including microwaves to heat your lunch. This space is for all students. Please look after this area and keep it clean. Vocational education training for secondary students has a team of staff who focus on your work placement. Contact them with your queries on 6371 3028 or email them. Their office is located in the library. This is also where you will drop off your logbook. The college has security, but they can't be everywhere all the time. It's up to you to take care of your valuables. Think about removing them from your car. Keep a close watch on your bags, phone or laptop. If you do misplace your belongings whilst on campus, please check the lost property at the Customer Service Centre. If you are concerned with your safety, call the campus warden on 0418 931 308. This is an exciting time. Make the most of your training with local passionate industry experts. Here are some tips to help you with your study. Get to know your lecturer. Ask lots of questions. Seek help when you need it and get involved in class discussions. Think of attending TAFE and workplace as being at work. Eat well and get plenty of sleep. Find the time and place that works best for you to study. Pack your bag the night before and create a routine. Put key dates in your diary, calendar and phone. Thank you for your attention. We wish you all the best for your training. If you require any of the contact numbers in this presentation, search the South Regional TAFE website.